I'm here with the lawyer of the accused. Ntate, will introduce yourself together with the accused, Ntamulo mm. uh, Baloi. Yes. How are you doing this afternoon? Uh, I'm, I'm doing good, thanks to, to this man to my left. Um, yeah, I'm doing better than I was the whole entire weekend. You know, I was next door in the holding cells, um, just uh, trying to, you know, um, sit down and reflect as well as, um, you know, pray a lot. Uh, because, you know, you never know what the value of your freedom is until you're denied it. So I'm just happy that, you know, I'm out and um, I can continue with the work that I need to do and um, that um, I can slowly try and get my life back in order. Nkamula, we have seen that you, you got support from your parents. What's your take on that? Well, I mean, they made me. <laughs> so they owe me support. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would not be here without them. So, you know, uh, it's their duty. And, um, you know, um, I've always had my father supporting me, uh, like, with everything that he wants me to do. And then... Uh, when I want to do my own things, mm. I'll always have my mother supporting me to explain to my father, you know, the things that I want to do. So, you know, they've been there um, throughout. My father's been with me, you know, taking me around, you know, each and every single day that I went to school um, for the entire 12 years of my schooling career, my father took me mm. um, to school. Um, but my other siblings, you know, um, they went to boarding school and stuff like that, you know, my other two siblings. So my parents always wanted to keep a close eye on me. So, you know. We have seen the other side of Nklamula where you were very emotional in court. Well, yeah, I mean, when the announcement was made, it was a little bit difficult um, to actually regulate the emotions. And also I was wearing a mask because I didn't know how things would turn out, you know what I mean? So. The mask makes it difficult to hold back the tears. I tried to hold back the tears. I was trying my best, you know, and I just couldn't stop myself. But also, I didn't want the cameras to see me crying. But, yeah, um, it's very emotional, man. It's very emotional. Uh, my life has been disrupted um, in the most dramatic fashion. And in an unexpected turn of events, you know, I lost my freedom of movement. Uh, I had to make mm. forced friends. Mm. You know, I was in the cells with another 11 inmates at, at one point, you know, and um, uh, I always try to bring a good energy, you know, to lift the spirits of everybody. So I was just glad that I was able to do that, you know what I mean? Um, we had a good camaraderie mm. inside there and um, yeah, I think everyone liked me. Uh, <laughs> inside there. Uh, it's just that unfortunate that, you know, not all our paths are the same. So, Say, how are you doing? Can you kindly introduce yourself? I'm Mr. Korombi from Korombi Atenis. I'm the director there at Korombi Atenis. Yes. And what's your responsibility in the, in, in the matter of Ntlamulo Baloi? Um, Mr. Ntlamulo Baloi is my client. Mm -hmm. Um, the one who was assisting him with bail application in this matter mm. is since 2014. So, yeah, we've been, uh, I knew him since 2014 up until to date. So, I don't want us to get into the merit of the case, but there is a one sp a particular matter that I want you to discuss and also outline to the viewers of MDN TV the entails of the bail application. Uh, my client has been released on bail of 5,000 rand. The matter is coming back to court on the 7th of November for further investigation. So the state is going to verify uh, the WhatsApp chats between my clients and the complainant. And then they will then make a determination after verifying uh, those WhatsApp chats. See you on the 9th of, of November. See you in court there. Bye.